Exodus chapter 8, verse 10 and 11. So he said, tomorrow, and he said, let it be according to your word, that you may know that there is no one like the Lord our God. And the frog shall depart from you, from your houses, from your servants, from your people. They shall remain in the river only. Pharaoh accepted Moses' invitation to set the date and the time for the prayer uh, to be made for relief to come over the land. And he set the time. He told Moses to pray the next day. So now we would know uh, whether God was there cause of the frogs or it was just nature. If it went at the time appointed, then it would show that this is the finger of God. And Moses accepted it. He didn't debate. He said, fine, if you want tomorrow, tomorrow it shall be. And, and he says, I'm going to pray to God and you would know that there is no one like the Lord God. So Moses is going to prove to Pharaoh as if there's the need for proof. God doesn't need any proof. He's God. He doesn't need any validation. But Moses says, I'm going to pray, and you would know by the answer to the prayer that there is no one like our God. God has no equal. There is none like him. There is none besides him. And that the Lord is above all gods. God has proven that he has power. And throughout the encounter between Moses and Pharaoh, the power of God has been clear. But Pharaoh's magicians have also shown something. So it would seem like there has to be something done to prove without any shadow of doubt, this is the finger of God. This is not just magic. This is the finger of God. And so God has brought judgment upon the land. But Moses' prayer is going to demonstrate something else, that not only does God have judgment, but God also has mercy, that God can bring judgment to people, and God can bring mercy to people. He's capable of both mercy and judgment. And that's the nature of God, that he is a God of mercy, and he's a God of judgment. And when we fall on his mercy, we receive mercy. When we fall on his judgment, we receive judgment. And that is what the Christian faith teaches us, that God is a God of mercy and judgment. In the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, he shows us that God is merciful. And, and he sent his own son to die for us. And he says, when you believe in him and accept his death and his sacrifice, I will be merciful to you. And, and God will have eternal mercy on us. There will be no eternal damnation. He promises eternal life to those who believe. That's the mercy of God. But then he says, if you do not believe and if you do not accept my offer of mercy, then all that you have is judgment. And the judgment will be eternal, just like the mercy is eternal. That is the justice and the fairness of God. He is not only one who brings judgment, but he offers mercy. And in Pharaoh, God shows that he can give us judgment and he can show us mercy. Which side are you on? Are you receiving God's grace and mercy or you have thrown yourself on God's judgment? And when you come under God's judgment, it will not be God's fault. It will simply be because you avoided his mercy. But get this right. There is no one like our God there is no one who has the power he has, and there is no competition with God. And when you trust him, his mercy will be your portion. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, there is none like you, and none besides you. Deliver me from every affliction. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.